Hey everyone, Ken Angst, Hope Prop Mazimmy, the Angst Real Estate Team. Hey, welcome back to our weekly podcast. Uh, if you haven't been here before, thanks for coming in and checking us out. Uh, we're covering all aspects of real estate in Northern Nevada, specifically Reno Sparks area. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe at the button above that I provide. And let's get started on today's topic. So today's topic is uh, efficiently using one of the tools that we use quite a bit, and that's the Washoe County Assessor's website. So what I'm gonna do is provide a screenshot video that kind of shows you guys how to access the Washoe County Assessor's website and all the tools that are in there. It's a free uh, item website that anybody can access, and it's great for finding out information about your own house, what you're being taxed, if you're in the floodplain, um, you know, what year your house was bought or sold in the past. And then it's really great for people who are looking at houses. And I encourage everyone out there, if you're thinking about looking at a house um, with your realtor beforehand, go on this website, check out where the map is, where the parcel lines are, what the taxes are, what the square footage is, because all the information that's provided on the MLS is not guaranteed. And most of the data has to be coming off the Washoe County Assessors. So, Sit back and enjoy our short video about how to use the Washoe County Assessors, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. What we're doing in today's podcast is uh, showing you how to use one of the top tools that we use is Realtors uh, that's free to the uh, general public. So all this information is public information, and we're not you know, showing you information that isn't out there that for everyone to look at. So we're going to go to the Assessors website, so open up your browser. And then what you want to do is type www.Washoe County Assessor, or it's actually Washoe County.us backslash assessor and hit enter. And that what that's going to do is take you to the assessor's website. Now the information at the top are just some important notifications about all the craziness going on with the coronavirus. But what you want to do is scroll down to about the center of the page. And what's going to happen is you go to real property and then you scroll down again and you kind of type an address so if you have your if you're looking for a house uh, what you like to do is type in the address or if you want to know information about your house you just type in the address here and what we usually do is just pick all and it kind of captures it you can search by APN owner address but you, typically you can just leave all and type in an address so we're not going to do any kind of uh, secret one today or anybody's property. What we're doing is the Washoe County School District, the new school on Arrow Creek and Thomas Creek, the Marcy Hers. And that will just kind of show you what information is available without divulging anybody's personal information. So on, on this website, what we have on the left-hand side is obviously you have the owner information. Going down the left-hand side, uh, you have the APN, which is the parcel number, uh, the address, the owner's name in this case is going to be the Washington County School District and then the mailing address. Now, you can have, if you have on a rental house, what you're going to see is the situate address is the physical address and then it's going to tell you who the owner is and then the mailing address. So if you see a different mailing address, what it is is a rental house. So that's the information that's under the owner information. Now, continuing down the left side of the page, what we're looking at is parcel information. So a legal description, what subdivision uh, the tax code information, the tax cap information, and if there's any permits pulled in the property. So you can kind of click on all these and kind of find out more information. Um, in addition, if we keep going down the page, we have land information. So this is going to tell you the land use, the size of the lot. This, is, this lot is 51 acres. Um, if it has sewer, if it, the, pave, the street's paved, um, if it has water. And the neighborhood code. Now, the neighborhood code, if we cl click on that, is very interesting because it kind of tells you, uh, brings up a PDF, and it kind of shows you the neighborhood. And it tells you the neighborhood codes, and you can actually search by these neighborhood codes for houses in that area. So that's kind of a useful, more advanced tool that we'll probably talk about at some other time. But just keep in mind that there's neighborhood codes. So if, for, for example, you wanted to look in the Thomas Creek, what you want to do is do a search for E- CCE and that's just an example of the neighborhood codes and we'll talk about that more in depth in another uh, video um, also keep going down under sales and transfers 
So you can kind of see when this, all the information about when the house was uh, transferred, when it was sold, what the prices are right here under documents and sales. Now this one doesn't have any, it was granted from the Forest Service to the Washoe County. It kind of tells you that was done on October 22nd, 2018. On a house, you'll typically see all the sales data. Now keep in mind that not all the data, this is relatively new. So I think in the, it's like 19, late 1980s or early 90s that when they started requiring this to all be recorded. So you may not see on an older house all the details uh, just because recently in the last 30 or 40 years they were started requiring it to be um, recorded. Uh, continuing down, this kind of goes into the evaluation of the tax information on how your house is very, uh, being taxed. Uh, that's a whole nother discussion on how, how that works and maybe we'll interview the assessor and have him kind of tell you on how your property taxes are figured out. It's one of the most complex systems in the country. Now going up to the right hand side, this will be building information. Now this is not a good example, but typically what will we'll be in here, it'll tell you the number of stories, the year built, bedrooms, bathrooms, half baths, fixtures. So it kind of goes in and talks about if it has a basement, if it's been a garage uh, conversion uh, type of garage. So this kind of goes, gives you details now about the house or the structure you're looking at. Now this is very important particularly when you start talking about the data on the MLS versus what's actually here. Um, typically, all the information on the MLS is put in by a realtor. So there can be errors, and if there's unpermitted areas, it's gonna show up here. So the Washoe County records only permitted square footage. So you might find a house on the MLS that says it's 2,000 square feet, but when you come here, it's only 1,500. Now keep in mind that when you're looking at permitted areas, that it has to be a permitted structure by the Washington County to count it against the property. And when the lender comes and looks at it, if it's not permitted, in this case, let's say 500 square feet of it wasn't permitted, it's an older house in the Old Southwest, you only get credit for 1500. So that can impact you trying to get a loan. So keep that in mind. Um, that's kind of the full structure of what's on the first page. Now, I just kind of want to point out quickly uh, some tabs up here to the left. And what you want to be looking at is the parcel map. So you can kind of click on the parcel map and it downloads a map of what the parcel looks like. So that's kind of good information. It kind of shows you information about the parcels around it, what the parcel looks like, how many acres. Um, the, other, the, the, the other thing that's really important, there's two more, three more tabs is the uh, W, it's the Washoe County Regional Mapping System. Now clicking on this kind of gives you the boundary of what the parcel looks like and what information about it. Now, the cool thing about this map is it's GIS. So you can kind of click on the one next to it and you can kind of see that the parcel directly north of the school is owned by the Forest Survey Service and what area and it kind of gives you what precinct, land zone. So these are kind of quick breakdowns uh, on information. You can click on your neighbor's house, if you're at your house. So it's kind of some great information about all the different parcels out there and you can do it quickly by clicking actually individual lots here. Um, we can kind of go into all the details on that in another video since this was running a little long. But um, kind of going back to what we we're looking at, the other thing is that there's a floodplain map. So this is very important because a lot of properties in the floodplain in Washoe County. So this will kind of tell you if it's in the floodplain and when you click on it, this is actually the HOA property. It's going to tell you what area of minimal hazard or what hazard you're actually in. So this is very valuable if you're trying to figure out what floodplain your property is in or one that you're looking at. Um, with that being said, that's about all the information that we have um, right now. And I'm kind of clicking back here uh, about the property. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave your uh, questions below and I'll answer them the best I can. Go ahead and play with it. Look at your own property. Make sure that your own property is um, correctly uh, recorded at the assessor's office. And then most importantly is when you're looking at a house to buy, use this tool. Go in there and check it out. Make sure that the property, if you don't want to back, back up to a busy street, a lot of my clients don't want to back up to a busy street. So I have them go look in here and make sure before you go view the property so you can save you and your realtor time on looking at properties that may be in a flood zone, um, may back up to McCarran, and I had that situation just happen. And that way you can kind of save time on that. So 
With that being said, I appreciate everyone's uh, continued support of our channel. I hope this uh, video helps you. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.